What is good? Diamond Niners Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be getting into today, man, a lot of you guys wanted my reaction to the tea room, all right? Talking about Armand and Regine. Apparently, this is a big topic that a lot of you guys want my opinion on, man. I don't know what to think at this point, but let's go ahead and see exactly what the tea room got to say today. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the Uncle Joey still a hold. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. Nice go yard bags. Okay, I see you. So now if you guys have been I keeping up with my videos on this whole Regine and Armand breaking <clears> up situation, <throat> then you know that yesterday I reported that a young lady on Armand's management team may have recorded some videos and posted them on Instagram and uh -huh. allegedly people were sending them to Regine. Now if you guys yeah. have not checked out my last video on everything that occurred there, I will link it at the top so you guys can be up to date. First of all, I want to ask y'all. Do y'all think that this is actually a real life situation? Or do y'all think that this is just promo because, you know, Armand got shit going on. Regine got shit going on. And we all know when niggas finna drop, niggas just gotta start drama. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this situation. Or do you guys honestly feel like Regine and Armand got some shit going on and are having trouble in their relationship? I don't know. Could be. Could be not. But all I know is Armand has always been the more vocal person on like Twitter or social media in general, right? Anytime something is going on, Armand is going to speak about it. We don't really see Regine give that same response. So I'm thinking in my mind, like, what is making you speak out about this shit now? Do you really want people in your business like that? So let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys feel like this beef or this drama between them two is genuine or is it fabricated? Let me know in the comment section. Hey, with what is going on. So the girl that was there actually did respond on Instagram. She posted a text thread of her and her boyfriend and she stated, my uh -huh. name is out here getting dragged through the mud and Miles okay. wants to laugh at me. Now Miles is her boyfriend. Okay. She states, I have had the same annoying partner for over six years and those who know, you know. All right, I'm going to just say this. It's fucked up for me to say this. But having a partner does not mean that <laughs> you're not going to go fuck around with the next nigga. So I'm not saying that she did anything with Armand or anything was going on, any type of flirting or anything like that, any inappropriate shit. All I'm saying is niggas cheat every day, B. Women cheat every day, B. And you will never fucking know about it. So just because she got a dude does not mean that she won't talk to another dude. All right. I'm just saying, I'm not claiming that that's what's happening. I'm just saying that saying that you have a significant other doesn't prove really anything at all. But anyway, <laughs> he's enjoying this so much right now. So she's posting here that, hey, I have a boyfriend. All these rumors that are going around about me are all false. So again, if this is what caused the alleged breakup, to me, it honestly seems like a miscommunication somewhere. Maybe someone didn't let the other person know that other people would be staying in the house as well. I mean, I'm just speculating here, but you guys let me know your opinions on that down in the comments. Ain't no telling. And once again, I want to know from you guys, if this whole Regine and Armand beef is true, right? Why do you guys think that Regine would be upset and feel like she can't trust Armand? Comment down below and let me know. Do you guys think that it's more of the Essie situation? More of the he's working too much and not giving me enough attention situation? Or this situation with this girl who got this boyfriend or whatever the case is comment down below if this is a real thing what do you guys feel like regine is upset about when it comes to our mind what situation or maybe it's a situation that we don't even know about guys let me know in the comment section down below section below originate has been <clears throat> spending her time working and hanging out with friends which is honestly the best thing to do when you're going through a situation with your <clears throat> partner you know like keep busy you don't want to just be home where you're on the internet all day that's when you start tweeting things that you don't want people to know but anyways let's move <laughs> on to this next topic that's funny yeah you're right Pick with neat she recently posted i just think like i said i just think it's so funny that 
I'm pretty sure there's a million times where Regine could have tweeted and said something because <clears throat> relationships have their ups and downs, right? There's no relationship that's going to be 100% peachy cane. You're going to be upset at the nigga or whatever the case is, right? It's going to be like a little roller coaster of emotions. So why, out of all the times that she could have said something, why say something now? That's all I'm saying. So that's kind of what makes me feel like, all right, is this real or not? Maybe it is real. Maybe it's mixed in with some stage shit too. I don't know. All I know is Regine is not the type to speak out on social media platforms, especially to down her relationship. If anything, she's supporting her relationship and letting niggas know, fuck y'all and stay out of my motherfucking business. So now that she's sharing things that she knows people will take out of context, if it isn't regarding that situation, I don't understand why now, you know, but comment down below and let me know. Posted them independent girls dangerous. They'll leave you so quick. She also says, uh-huh. y'all be afraid to start over. This like my fourth life. I seen that meme like last night and that's so true, man. Y'all be afraid to start over, nigga. I done started over so many fucking times. Hey, now people have <laughs> been thinking that Dwayne and Neek may be off again. But you guys let me know what you guys think about that down. That don't surprise me. In the comment section below were these some shots at Dwayne saying... <laughs> I'm independent and I don't need anyone. I'm going to just say, like, Neek, like I said, you know Neek run that relationship, all right? That's my opinion. I don't know. I just don't think that that man knows what he's doing when it comes to Neek, you feel me? But anyway. Let me know your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now, let's move on to this next topic with Miss Crystal. She recently shared that she is now what doing hair and taking clients. Okay. She says, those who don't know, I started doing hair at the age of 13. My mom was a stylist, so I took after her, went to cosmetology school with her after school, did my mm-hmm. own hair and everyone around me. I finally decided to take a class to perfect my craft. That's so now up. we're here. Bro, Shout out to Crystal. I know she be in the news about negative shit, but shout out to her, man. Shout out to anybody who is working on a skill to better themselves in some type of way. You know, that's lit as fuck. Work on some shit that's going to help you in the future. Work on some shit, whatever it is, whatever you want to do, whatever your passion is, whatever you're good at. My nigga, go do that shit. You're good at it for a reason. Some things come natural to us, man. So use those things and elevate those things. Try something new that you ain't ever tried before, man. But anyway, congratulations, Crystal, man. That's dope. This is just the start. That's Stay dope. tuned for my install and booking dates. So congratulations to Crystal on her new career path. No. She calls it It's Really Styles by It's Really Crystal. Let's move on to this next topic with DDG, Hallie, and Chloe. Now, DDG was recently on TikTok Live with a few friends, and they brought up Chloe and her album. If you guys didn't know her, her album didn't do too well. It didn't mm. get too many sales. Okay. So they brought Chloe up on the live and DDG was not having it. He was <laughs> not trying to get in trouble with his girl. Uh, is your girl's sister single? I don't know, Ax. You think you, you could uh, put me on? Gideon's stupid. <laughs> You got the riz, man. You got the juice, man. You got the motion, bro. That's all on you. You don't need me. But, bro, you like in a, you're in a different stratosphere than me. You said what? you in a different stratosphere than me. Like, I need you to put me on. Uh, everybody knows who Gideon is, man. Quit playing with yourself, man. We in the same stratosphere. Some gatekeeper. What this nigga Pootie been on? That nigga funny as shit. I ain't gatekeeping nothing. Like, her album flopped. So she's probably sad right now. Gideon, if you're trying to holler, you go holler like DDG say. That they ain't got shit to do with him. I just want to, like, hit her up and be like, hey, <laughs> talk, you know, we all have flops out there. Like, I think it's too. I want to console her. We all got flops out there. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is. <laughs> hey, Gideon. Nigga Z is up here. He in his own world. What do you say? <laughs> oh man no, he got the fuck on can speak more about this on my celebrity channel so if you guys want to hear how chloe actually responded to all this head over to that channel i will link it at the top here but as always hey man i'm gonna just say Sometimes you drop and it flop. Sometimes you drop and they cop. Maybe take a page out of DDG's handbook. I think Chloe just needs, you know, her own little drama going on. If Chloe had some drama going on right now, I'm telling you that would boost the sales. It sucks, 
But that's why you guys see that niggas always want to create and start drama right before they drop something. Take a page out of DDG's notebook. That's exactly what you need to do. All right, it comes with the territory. It is what it is, man. People don't pay attention unless you're in some fuck shit, you know? I don't know why it is. But anyway, guys, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I love y'all so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend until they ain't your mama, until they Uncle Joey still a hoe. See you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.